Let's talk about the contrabass bassoon. The contrabass bassoon is a member of the woodwind section in the modern orchestra and is typically treated like an extension of the bassoon. Usually performed by the second or third chair bassoon player, the contrabass bassoon has a staggeringly low range of B flat zero to C four. That's the B flat just over an octave below low C, all the way up to middle C. To make this range easier to read, it will be transposed an octave higher when written as sheet music. This range is traditionally broken down into three distinct registers. The low register is also known as the pedal register and spans a tritone from B flat zero to E1. It has a general dynamic range of mezzo forte to fortissimo, or somewhat loud to very loud. This register is dark, heavy, and supremely powerful much like the pedals of an organ. This is the type of sound that will shake the room you're sitting in and can be felt in your chest as it's played. Unfortunately, it is incredibly difficult to use and can typically play only short notes lasting a second or two in length. As such, this register is best saved for special occasions where significant power and presence are desired. The middle register spans just a little bit higher, from F1 to E2, with a general dynamic range of pianissimo to fortissimo, or very soft to very loud. This register is known for its powerful and dark personality, and will typically be used for bass lines that require a little more agility and control than can be delivered by the bassoon's own low register. Finally, the upper register spans the remainder of the instrument's range and becomes increasingly thin, nasally, and unstable. It's typically avoided since these notes are more expressive and easier to perform on the bassoon. Now, naturally, none of these registers have a hard starting or stopping point. They all tend to just kind of blend into each other on a spectrum, and the deeper you move into any of the three, the more pronounced its personality will become. This instrument is typically reserved for moments where you want a particularly low and powerful bass line, while still maintaining a bit more agility and control that can't really be found at the extreme of most other instruments' ranges. However, it is still not a particularly agile instrument and won't typically be used for fast moving and rhythmic lines in your music. All in all, it's another beautiful instrument with tons of potential, so try using it in your next arrangement. I hope you found this helpful. Until next time, keep studying, keep working hard, and keep writing new music.